Since losing a series in Baltimore at the beginning of May, the Yankees have become one of the hottest teams in the majors while gaining ground in the AL East. Bench coach Rob Thompson explains that the turnaround is a team-wide effort. You know, we're getting really good starting pitching. Uh, our bullpen's been very, very good. They've been pretty good most of the year. And now we're starting to hit. Guys are starting to hit with runners in scoring position. We're getting runners on, so a lot of good things are happening right now. Baseball, above all other professional sports, is the longest and most grueling by far. Ebbs and flows are part of every season. Knowing how to handle adversity is a huge part of the game. For the players and the coaches, it's not that hard to stay positive. That's where the experience in the clubhouse comes into play. These guys have been through it so, for so many years, and, and a lot of ups, lots, lots of downs. And, and stay focused, uh, stay prepared, stay positive. It's not as tough as, as probably what people think. The 2016 Yankees have already had to climb out of a valley. And with four months still to go, this is how Thompson approaches the rest of the season. Obviously around here, we're not, we're not looking for 500, but you know, I, I, I think you take little increments and I, I think you take one series at a time and if you keep winning series, then, then that winning percentage just keeps building up and you, know, you get to five and then you're looking to 10 and then you're looking to 15 and just try to keep moving forward, but you gotta take little short stints and, and just keep winning series and we'll be fine. Early in the year, driving in base runners was a problem for the Yankees offense but things have changed considerably in the last few weeks. As long as you're getting guys on base, you're eventually gonna score a run. And every team goes through it a couple times a year where they scuffle with runners in scoring position. But the biggest problem for me is when we, we don't have runners on, now we got a problem. And so now we got Els back, he's healthy, and him and Gardy are getting on base at the top of the order. And that makes it a little bit easier for those guys in the, in the middle. And they're doing a great job. They're staying focused and creating some offense. The starting rotation has been excellent as of late, but two pitchers in particular have been bright spots on the staff. We knew what, what Nov had, uh, just there wasn't a spot for him coming out of spring training, so he's taking control of that and command of that, and, and he's pitched very well for us. He's got the sinker going, his, his curveball is, is coming, and CC doesn't really surprise me because, you know, he, he may not have the same powers he once had when he was younger, but he, he really knows how to pitch and he really knows how to compete. So you know that you're going to get something out of him every night. Much has been made about Joe Girardi's quick trigger to the bullpen. But every game counts in this league and the manager's win today attitude resonates with Thompson and the coaching staff. You think about winning today, if you get a chance to win today, we, we take care of that. And then we'll worry about tomorrow, tomorrow, within reason. I mean, there are some times when you, you can't do that because you're thinking a little bit more long term. But in a lot of games, most of the time, what you're going to do is if you get a chance to win, you go get that one tonight because it might get rained out tomorrow. Thompson's goals are simple moving forward. He believes that if the team plays well, things will take care of themselves. You know, I don't have a, a record in mind, but I, I know that if we're playing well from here to the All-Star break, we're going to be in good shape. You can see more Yankees on demand and Yankee scoreboard content by clicking here. And you can subscribe to our YouTube channel right there.